Welcome to History Uncovered, where we delve into the stories and events that have shaped our world. If you're a fan of history and love learning about the people and events that have shaped our world, then be sure to hit that subscribe button below. We release new videos every day so you'll always have something new to discover. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when our latest episodes are released, and you'll be supporting us in our mission to bring fascinating stories from the past to a wider audience. In this episode, we journey back to the Middle Ages to explore the life and legacy of one of history's most influential rulers, Charlemagne, or Charles the Great, King of the Franks and Lombards and later, Emperor of the Romans. Our story begins in the late 8th century, in the heart of what we know today as Western Europe. The Roman Empire, once a beacon of civilization, had crumbled a few centuries earlier, leaving Europe fractured into various tribes and kingdoms. Among these were the Franks, a Germanic tribe that held sway over present-day France, Belgium, and parts of Germany and the Netherlands. In 742, a child named Charles was born to Pepin the Short, King of the Franks. Charles, later known as Charlemagne, would come to rule this divided land and usher in a period known as the Carolingian Renaissance. Charlemagne's reign, which spanned from 768 to 814, was marked by a series of military conquests that expanded the Frankish kingdom to encompass much of Western and Central Europe. From Lombardy in Italy to Saxony in northern Germany, and from the Iberian Peninsula to Central Europe, Charlemagne's dominion spread far and wide. In this respect, he was the first to create a unified entity resembling modern Europe since the fall of the Roman Empire. Charlemagne turned his attention to the Iberian Peninsula, where the Muslim Moors held control. The year 778 marked one of Charlemagne's significant military undertakings, known as the Expedition to Saragossa. In what began as a diplomatic mission to strengthen ties with a Moorish leader in northern Spain, Charlemagne found himself in a challenging military situation. He laid siege to the city of Saragossa, expecting a swift victory. However, the city did not surrender as anticipated, forcing Charlemagne to withdraw. The retreat from Saragossa led to one of the most legendary events of Charlemagne's reign, the Battle of Roncevaux Pass. As Charlemagne's regard was crossing the Pyrenees, they were ambushed by Basques. The Frankish army suffered a crushing defeat, and among the casualties was the noble Rudland, or Roland, whose death would later be immortalized in the epic poem, The Song of Roland. This event, though a military failure, was significant in shaping Charlemagne's legacy. Despite the setback, Charlemagne's campaigns in Spain marked the beginning of the Christian Reconquista, a centuries-long effort to retake the Iberian Peninsula from Muslim control. His actions laid the groundwork for future Christian states in Spain and the ultimate expulsion of the Moors. One of his notable achievements was his relentless push for the Christianization of his kingdom. He fought against the pagan Saxons in the east and forced them to convert to Christianity. This religious expansion was not always peaceful, with the Saxon Wars being a significant aspect of his reign. Despite its violent nature, this helped in the establishment of a cohesive cultural identity throughout his realm. Beyond his military exploits, Charlemagne also left an indelible mark on the cultural and educational landscape of Europe. He encouraged learning and intellectual pursuits, leading to the flowering of the Carolingian Renaissance. He invited scholars from all over the continent to his court in Aachen, transforming it into a vibrant hub of intellectual and cultural activity. Charlemagne's sponsorship of learning also saw a revival of literacy and scholarship in Western Europe. The Carolingian Minuscule, a clear and easy-to-read script developed during his reign, became the standard writing style of Europe for the next several centuries, thereby preserving many ancient texts that would have otherwise been lost. Furthermore, his reign saw significant legal reforms. The Capitularies of Charlemagne, a set of royal decrees, helped standardize laws and practices across his vast empire, providing a sense of unity and coherence. The introduction of the Missi Dominici, officials appointed by Charlemagne himself, helped ensure these laws were carried out. In 800, on Christmas Day, Charlemagne was crowned Emperor of the Romans by Pope Leo III. This event was both controversial and significant, signifying the Church's acknowledgement of Charlemagne's power and solidifying his rule. 
The title also symbolized the revival of the Western Roman Empire with Charlemagne as its head, shaping the future course of European history. But no ruler, however great, is without flaws. Despite his advancements in education and culture, Charlemagne's methods were often brutal, and his wars of conquest resulted in the suffering and death of countless people. His forced Christianization of the Saxons can be viewed as an early example of religious imperialism, and his treatment of women, particularly his daughters, was questionable at best. When Charlemagne died in 814, he left behind an empire that stretched across much of Europe, a cultural legacy that influenced the subsequent Middle Ages, and a profound impact on the course of European history. His successors struggled to maintain the unity of his empire, which eventually fragmented into regions that formed the basis of modern-day Europe. Nevertheless, Charlemagne's influence endured. His standardization of laws and regulations paved the way for the concept of a unified Europe. He planted the seeds of what would eventually become the Holy Roman Empire, which survived in various forms until the 19th century. His vision of a united Europe under one ruler was a precursor to the modern-day European Union. Charlemagne's impact on education and culture can still be felt today. His efforts to improve literacy and encourage scholarship laid the groundwork for the development of universities in Europe. His educational reforms helped preserve the Latin language and many classical texts, allowing later generations to benefit from this knowledge. Perhaps one of the most enduring symbols of Charlemagne's legacy is the Palatine Chapel in Aachen. Built by Charlemagne himself, it was the place where he was eventually buried. Today, the chapel stands as part of the Aachen Cathedral, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, serving as a poignant reminder of the grandeur and the vision of this extraordinary ruler. On a broader scale, Charlemagne's reign was a turning point in European history. It marked a transition from the fragmented and parochial Europe of the early Middle Ages to a more unified and centralized entity that would evolve into the nation-states we know today. Despite the centuries that have passed, the ripples of his reign continue to be felt in our modern world. In retrospect, the story of Charlemagne is a tale of vision, ambition, and resilience. His life serves as a testament to the power of effective leadership and the impact one person can have on the course of history. Whether seen as a champion of education and culture, a formidable warrior king, or a symbol of imperial ambition, Charlemagne's legacy continues to intrigue and inspire us. Charlemagne once said, to have another language is to possess a second soul. True to his words, he gave Europe a shared language of law, religion, and culture, which helped shape its soul and form its identity. As we reflect on the life and times of Charlemagne, we realize that history is not merely a series of events, but a tapestry of human ambition, achievements, and follies. And in the heart of this tapestry, figures like Charlemagne continue to shine, illuminating the path we've traversed and reminding us of our collective journey as humanity. Thank you for watching this episode of History Uncovered. If you found this video informative and engaging, please like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories from the past. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so that you never miss a new video.